Hi everyone, I'm really excited today because I've just bought a new camera. Uh, I've went for the Fujifilm X-T2 and I'm going to get into why I bought a new camera and why I bought this particular camera but first of all I can't wait to get out there and test it out. Well first of all as you can probably tell it is raining, raining quite badly. Um, so badly in fact that I'm currently taking shelter underneath a tree. Um, I've just also heard a roar of thunder as well, so perhaps this is not the best time to test my new camera. But we shall pe uh, pass for you. Uh, I believe it's not, I don't think it's supposed to last that long, so hopefully it will pass pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to head into central London anyway, so hopefully by the time I get into central London, it may hopefully have stopped. Um, I can see some blue some blue skies just in front of me although unfortunately the wind's blowing that way that way um, so the blue skies are actually getting away from me but anyway second thing um, I've attached my Sony action cam to my backpack so that I can uh, show you guys what I'm, what I'm shooting as I'm walking around with my camera um, so obviously I don't think I'm going to be very inconspicuous today but I'm going to head to a touristy part of London anyway, so it should be fine, I should be able to blend in pretty easily amongst the tourists, so um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to just brace this rain and hopefully by the time I head, get to central London, hopefully it will have stopped. So I've got off the tube and as if by magic it stopped raining, so that's good. And I came to Liverpool Street just because I can get here quickly and easily without having to change. But I'm going to head towards uh, the Tower Bridge and walk around there because it's a pretty nice area to walk around obviously. And you should be able to get some photos around there. Now it's the weekend and I'm in the middle of the city. So obviously it's very quiet around here, there's no one around, but once I get to Tower Bridge, which is very close to here, it'll obviously be full of tourists and there'll be plenty of people around. them.
So I'm back from my little four walk and I've got to say already I'm totally enough with this camera. Um, so I'll get into why I bought a new camera. Um, so this is the one I have been using. This is the Olympus OMD EM5. It's the Mark 1. As much as I like this camera, um, there's a few things that I don't like about it which um, again made me want to replace it. I like it's a micro four thirds camera so I like the size of it, the weight of it. Um, for me who travels a lot it's ideal that way. Uh, I am a fan of the, the retro look cameras. Um, but my main issue with it is you got the two dials on the on the top here which change the change the aperture and the ISO um, exposure compensation things like that. But the problem with is I've had this camera for I think a year and a half and I've still never ever been able to get used to which dial changes what setting and in which way I have to turn it to ch change the setting in the way that I want it to. I can never, I just can't get used to it. Um, I've even tried change it, you can change what each dial does and I've tried changing it and I, I just still can't get used to it. The amount of times I'm out photographing and I change one of the dials, um, say I want to change the aperture so I, I change one of the, the dials and then realize oh shit that's the one dial or oh, I've changed it in the one direction and it's just not intuitive in that way and that's the last thing that you want from a camera. What I find about Fuji is the exact opposite. If I want to change the aperture, I don't, um, there's an aperture ring on the lens so you just use that to change the aperture so you don't have to think oh what dial am I, am I having to turn and stuff it's just there on the lens um, shutter speed has its own dial here uh, ISO has its own dial here um, and you can just change the settings so quickly uh, without having to think about it without having to go into menus there was times today for example when I was taking like a street shot and we're shooting at f3.5 um, and then I was going to take in more of a of kind of a landscape kind of force so I went to make sure everything was in focus so I was moving from f3.5 to f11 say um, and yeah just without even having to look just being able to change that quickly just by using the ring on the lens whereas on my old camera I would have had to think, okay, which dial do I change, which direction do I move it. When I was deciding on which camera to buy, I was deciding between this Fuji X-T2 and the Sony A7R. <clears throat> Obviously they're both mirrorless cameras, uh, but the Sony A7 is full frame, whereas this is a crop sensor camera. So. I was trying to decide whether or not I really needed a full frame camera uh, because I've had Fujis in the past and loved them. I was swaying towards a Fuji but I thought my only concern was what if I get it and then one day I think oh I need a full frame camera but truthfully speaking if the image quality is just as good on a crop frame camera which on this one it is do you really need a full frame? And I don't think you necessarily do. If I had went for the Sony, it's a brilliant camera. The images it produces are, are brilliant, but I just, no, it wouldn't get me as excited about going out and taking photos as, as this camera does. It's just an absolute joy to use. You just get the sense with them that they're just they're passionate about photography you know and uh, they've got a long history in, in photography obviously and you, I don't know what it is it's hard to explain but I just I get that feeling of that passion um, with them and when I'm using their cameras where you couldn't say that about Sony um, 
obviously they, they don't have any history in, in photography and you pick up one of their cameras it might be a brilliant camera but I don't get that same sense of, of passion you know so yeah that's why I love food I mean <laughs> I, I love Fuji film so much actually I think um, I think I'm going to make it a goal of mine to, to one day become a, a Fuji film ambassador that's essentially why I bought the camera um, like I said I just, I just can't wait to to get out and, and just keep using it keep taking photographs and that's exactly what a camera should do so definitely the right choice for me anyway I think I've probably rambled on long enough so I'm going to end the video there but yeah thanks for watching I hope it was uh, insightful and informative in some sort of way um, if you did like this video then please hit like and uh, yeah I'll see you again soon bye okay so it's the day after I initially recorded this video and I just kind of felt like I didn't really stress my one of my main points uh, enough other than just talking about me and my own preferences and why I chose that camera why I bought a new camera I also wanted to stress to anyone else who's watching this and might be looking for a new camera um, that because I get asked uh, occasionally for advice from people who are looking to buy a new camera and the thing I always say is that the most important thing is that it feels good in your hands and all the buttons feel like they're in the right place and easy to adjust and you pick it up and you just kind of feel at one with it. Um, that is the most important thing I would say when choosing a camera and I just really want to stress that other than just uh, telling you a bit about me and why I chose that camera I just also really really wanted to stress that that point um, every camera out there every camera out there is capable of taking good photographs um, it is you behind the camera that makes a good photo not the camera itself it's the person pressing the shutter that makes a good photograph and the only way you'll get better is by going out and practicing so don't worry about what brand the camera is or how many megapixels is none of that really matters um, so if you are looking for a camera uh, what I would say is just go into a a camera shop and pick up different cameras and just see how it feels in your hands because yeah like I say the most important thing without a doubt is that you pick it up it just feels right um, so yeah just wanting to make sure I stress that point enough so thanks for watching